Hey guys, my name is Brianna. This is my 36 week pregnancy update for baby numero dos. My little girl is due the first week of May. So we are very close to meeting her. I turned 36 weeks today and according to my app, she is the size of a papaya. And in some of the other pregnancy books I read as well, it's, she's anywhere from 18 to 20 inches long and likely around the six pound mark. And one week ago and two days, <laughs> Sorry, thinking in my head. So a week ago in two days, we did have an ultrasound where they placed her at about five pounds, five ounces. She was in the 37th percentile lengthwise, but her head was actually measuring more than a week ahead. So I joke, she's my little chickpea with a big brain in there. So watch out world. I'm sure she'll be small, but pretty fierce. 36 weeks is also the first week of the ninth month. So we are officially in the nine months pregnant zone, which is pretty crazy. Just knowing that she's really coming. I have still a lot of things on to-do list for both home and work that I need to wrap up. So definitely feeling some pressure there. But more than anything at this point, I am just excited because being nine months pregnant, we are so close to meeting her, holding her, loving on her. I just can't wait. The total weight gain at my doctor's appointment this week, which also in the ninth month, you start going every single week to the doctor. So at this week's appointment, I did gain a pound. So I've gained 24 pounds so far this pregnancy. I started at 122, so I'm now 146. Maternity clothes. I am definitely wearing almost all maternity clothes, even though you guys will laugh. The shirt actually is not a maternity clothes shirt, but it is more of a tunic style blouse, so it's just larger, so I can still kind of wear it. You can definitely see though in the belly shot, it's pretty tight over the bump. <laughs> haven't seen stretch marks yet, but I am getting nervous because you'll even see in the belly shot, my skin is pretty taut and tight at this point. So who knows, it could happen in this final stretch. Woo, and baby girl is moving in there. So when it comes to movement, yes, she is still very active. I have to say though, I do feel like she is not fully turning the way even two weeks ago, I felt like I was feeling her do. Now it does just feel more like I can feel an arm jab or a leg jab, and it's actually gotten much less painful. I know in last weeks, I was so low on energy and in so much pain, and I still don't necessarily feel that she's dropped because if I touch you know, right where like the bottom of my bra is, there is still a huge bump. Like I just don't think my belly has like fully dropped or anything like that yet, but I think her movements have become likely more constricted because she's growing in there and she just can't maybe move as fiercely and punch me as hard as she was last week. I mean though, she's fierce. We have to watch out world, watch out. <laughs> Sleep, I have had the worst insomnia. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I was literally up till one in the morning one night this week doing laundry semi out of necessity i had a couple of very long work days where stuff was scheduled from eight in the morning went until eight at night so i just also needed to get some things done around the house and for my little one my husband he also came down with the flu he actually still has it so we're going on like day four for him He's kind of quarantining himself down the basement. He was really sweet today though. He actually was just like feeling up enough to go out himself and he's like, I'm just gonna go get myself some more Pedialyte and crackers. And he also bought me a bouquet of flowers while he was out because I know he's feeling really bad because <laughs> it's Easter weekend and we were going to host Easter and once he came down with the flu and just with everything going on with work, we actually canceled hosting Easter at our house. I'm just like, I can't do it right now. I especially can't do it if I wasn't you know, able to get his help with a lot of the things that we just needed to get done and tackle around here. 
um, between work and being as pregnant as I am, I just can't do everything at this point. I really am relying on him for some help with some things. And we, I just said, I'm like, you know what? The hours it would take for me to clean, make the food, even shop for all the food at this point, it's not worth it. We made a reservation out for our family, so we're going out to Easter dinner at Macaroni Grill. <laughs> so I'm sure it will be a different Easter that we can look back on and say, you know, Presley, because of you, we had a pretty interesting Easter <laughs> the year mom was pregnant with you. But I feel so much relief because we made that decision. It just feels so much better. Best moment this week, I, one, got to hear her heartbeat at the doctor's appointment and I think just knowing and having confirmed that after that ultrasound, we were a little bit nervous about how she was growing in there, that everything continues to be really, really good with Presley. So that's always something that I think is a huge positive. Also at the end of a really, again, long, tiring, both work week and personal week, just with my husband being sick and thinking, like I had this impending weight on my shoulders of another weekend that I would just be working the entire time essentially for hosting Easter. That weight got lifted and Adam was feeling up enough to just kind of watch Landon as he played. He really was trying to like not touch him or feed him or anything like that. So I got an hour and a half window to go get my nails done and get a pedicure. And honestly, it was just the nicest thing. Like it completely altered my mood, my spirits, the fact that I took like a 90 minute break for self care, if you will, of just like needed a mental break, needed a physical break needed a space where I could just sit in a chair and do nothing. <laughs> and it was so, so, so nice. Do I miss anything this week? No. Food cravings. I was craving popsicles. I think there was one night when I was watching TV that I had like three of those, um, what are they called? They have real fruit in them, but I was craving like real fruit popsicles. I also have been craving blue Gatorade, which is why my tongue is blue peanut butter and apples still. I feel like regularly I crave peanut butter and apples. It's just like the perfect fix for a lot. Craving Chipotle the one day for sure. So still having a lot of Mexican spicy food cravings and just chocolate. I feel like I, especially with all of the Easter candy, like if it's got chocolate on it, can't go wrong. Anything making you queasy or sick because of my husband having the flu, I actually took out all of the garbage and recycling this week and oh, it's just like the worst. Labor signs, I have been nesting a ton. I've literally decontaminated, <laughs> I think it's also because my husband had the flu that I'm in this like, I need to make sure that no germs are getting anywhere. But I've washed every single newborn toy that Landon had, whether it was something I could soak in a tub in like boiling hot water and soap, or with a like disinfecting cloth kind of like rubbed things down that I couldn't necessarily just like soak. Also put anything that I could wash in the washer to wash. I've got all of her like swings, bouncers, things that Landon never even freaking used because he's such a mama's boy and just needed to be carried around all of the time. But all of those things have been wiped down the whatever kind of like padding or blanket kind of things all of that has been washed. I washed another round of clothes for her and some of like the sheets, blankets, burp cloth stuff that I just hadn't taken out of packaging yet. So I did a ton of just like prep stuff so that when she comes, all of that is done, won't need to be worried about. And then just other house stuff. Like I was just doing other loads of laundry for me and for Landon. I was just doing some like cleaning, organizing of some other stuff. So I felt like this morning was super productive and I think tonight now I was planning on grocery shopping anyways to get all of the food for Easter and for the week ahead but gonna tackle that and I think finish up I have like a nesting haul supply list that I've been slowly crossing off over the last couple of weeks of just things Basically, so if I want to be a hermit for three months of maternity leave, I could be. I hope that's not the case since it will be summer and nice weather. I'm gonna try to really like push myself just also for postpartum recovery. Um, you know, I don't wanna be 
kicking myself into a depression by staying inside the house and not being social, but I do have to just be prepared. Like there might be days and moments where like my energy level from nursing, from recovery, from hormonal changes, I just won't wanna leave the house. So I wanna have everything I need right here and not have to worry about it. I've also had some pretty intense contractions, but there never is another one. It will be, you know, maybe once, sometimes twice a day, I'll just get like a really rough contraction, but it's never like they're coming one after another or even close together that I'd be worried that I could be going into early labor because at this point, it still would be early labor. Symptoms, the heartburn is still very, very real. I also have been running to the bathroom a ton. There's just no room for my bladder in there whatsoever. I've also had really bad Charlie horse cramps in my legs again. Like two nights ago, I had a horrible one and I'm seriously drinking a ton, eating a ton of bananas. I'm seriously having at least like two bananas a day. It's almost crazy how fast we go through bananas in this house. Brianna Bananas. <laughs> That's all I can really think of for symptoms for this week. One other appointment update that has to do with both either labor signs, symptoms, I guess. They did check to see if I was showing any sort of effacing or dilation this last week and I'm still zero centimeters dilated. I was about 60% effaced, she said though, so she's like, your body is getting ready, but I don't feel at this time that it would be anything that, you know, you could go into labor over the next week or anything like that. So I will continue to have that checked weekly, especially just to make sure I'm wrapping up work stuff on time too. Belly button in or out? Oh, you will see in the belly shot. It is out, it is third nipple. My wedding rings are still on. Happy or moody most of the time. Today I feel it's just been a turnaround after getting my nails done and getting so much accomplished this morning. I just feel so much more happy and at peace. But overall this last week, I mean, I was crying at the drop of a hat some days. And I think I talked about this in my last pregnancy update too, like stuff that I know shouldn't be bothering me was bothering me and would put me into like a fit of tears. And I think probably the hardest thing was I did have to work on Good Friday and our new neighborhood we moved into has this adorable Easter egg hunt for all of the kiddos. And Adam had originally, before he got the flu, planned on going golfing, so we set up that his mom was going to be babysitting Landon that day. And we got the invitation to the egg hunt at the beginning of last week and I just kind of realized there was some calls and some important hiring things going on in my work that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, take him to this egg hunt. So my mother-in-law, Landon's grandma, ended up taking him and I'm so happy that they got to spend that time together. <laughs> but the hardest thing is, since I work from home, I could literally from my office window see all of the kids running around to get the eggs. So it was just I sat there and Adam even, cause he was then home not golfing. He, you know, went out on the sidewalk cause he's like, I don't want to go and get any of the kids even like risk getting anyone else sick. But like he from the sidewalk in front of our house was like watching the egg hunt. And I was just inside the office crying, like hot mess being like, I just want to be out there so bad right now. That's like the hardest times to be a working mom is when you, feel like you're missing those moments that you know you want to be fully present and there for and you can't but you you balance that with the good and the bad and I also just want him to have that respect for me that just like his daddy I work really hard and it's at home and in my job and that I you know worked really hard to go to college and get those degrees too just like my husband did so that he also understands that his mom is a very hard worker and can be an equal support to him, like my husband. I think that's the end of everything, besides looking forward to, obviously, just when she comes, I'm really looking forward to meeting her. And I am now just looking forward to this unique Easter. I'm excited to go to Easter Sunday church tomorrow and then just go out to dinner and see our family. Okay, here is the 36 week belly shot. This is the bump from the front. 
And this is the belly. So maybe she dropped. You can tell me if you feel like it looks like she's dropped yet. I still don't think so, but there you have it that is the end of the 36 week pregnancy update if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments i know there's been so many other mamas or pregnant gals or ttc gals where you're at in your journey if you've had your baby please make sure you share that in the comments so that we can congratulate you and hear the name you've chosen and if you've had a boy or a girl i can't wait to find out and stay tuned because i do have some fun videos planned for before I have Presley, if at least she comes on time, she could surprise me and totally wreck <laughs> the plans I have for a couple of videos before she comes. But I'm really, really open to any suggestions you have of things you'd like to see post-birth. So let me know in the comments now so I can start planning for those videos too. So much love to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for always staying positive in the comments and for all the support you give not only to me but the other mamas who are part of this channel and this community. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Got a blue tongue from the Gatorade. <laughs> <It's> craving. <laughs>